Here are some pointers on how to use the Casio calculator for degrees, minutes, and seconds. Please notice that right here on this calculator is a key that shows a small symbol for degrees, a mark for minutes, and another one for seconds. We're going to use that to do some simple angular math. For instance, if I want to add 28 degrees, 15 minutes, 36 seconds to 97 0953, then it goes this way. I'm going to punch in 28. I'm going to hit my degrees, minutes, seconds key, and you'll see that there is a degree symbol there. Well, if I put in 15 and hit it again, you'll notice the degree symbol again, but it interprets this as minutes. I need 36 seconds now, and I do it one more time. And then I'm going to add another angle, 97 degrees, 0, 09 minutes, and 53 seconds. Now notice what happens when I press equal. I get my result expressed in degrees, minutes, seconds. Once again, please understand that the degree symbol behind the 25 really indicates minutes. But this is degrees, minutes, and seconds. You can also use this for trigonometric functions. For instance, let's say I want to take 253.17 times the cosine of 31 degrees, 45 minutes, whoops, 45 minutes, and 10 seconds. Well, it knows that that's in degrees, minutes, seconds, and there I get my result in terms of feet. That's 253.17 times the cosine of 31 degrees, 45 minutes, 10 seconds. Now, look at the replay button right up here. Uh, you can see embossed in the middle of the round button it says replay. So watch the cursor on my screen here. Notice when I use the right arrow I am moving the cursor over and I can now highlight the first letter of cosine and if I type in the sine function notice it replaces cosine with sine and therefore I get when I hit the equal sign I get that now solved for 253.17 times the sine of the very same angle 31 45 10 Let's try a different type of trigonometric function. I'm going to do the inverse tangent here. And I go inverse tangent, and I'm going to take 278.17 divided by 702.44. And when I complete the computation, I get this angle. This is intended to be an angle. Well. That's in decimal degrees. How do I know? It's got a decimal point. If I want it in degrees, minutes, seconds, all I have to do is press my degrees, minutes, seconds key, and there I get it. 21 degrees, 36 minutes, and 13.79 seconds. So hopefully this will help you in using the power of degrees, minutes, seconds on your calculator more effectively.